Durham Cathedral is one of the most magnificent buildings in Britain. You might not have a building like this on your doorstep, but if you switch on your mathematical eyes and visit your local church, you'll see some of the hidden mathematical secrets that we're going to see inside. Could you tell me a little bit about Durham Cathedral? It's a Romanesque building, Romanesque being another word for Norman. And as the name implies, it's influenced by Roman classical architecture. Now, classical architecture was strongly influenced by the use of maths, and they're quite mathematical buildings. And it's quite obvious how that mathematical classical influence is quite prevalent in Durham Cathedral. Proportion, geometry, space, we can see how maths was used by the masons and the builders in constructing the pillars. They had to use quite complex maths to work out the size the stones needed to be, how many stones that they needed to have to construct the enormous columns, and also to ensure that the patterns were flawless throughout the structure. Master masons laid out the floor plan of Durham Cathedral. What I'm going to do is to pace out the coordinates and the distances around the floor space using this compass. And what I'd like you to do is to draw a scale drawing of the floor plan using the measurements I gave you. Starting at the west doors, I'm heading east 70 meters. I'm turning and heading north for 20 meters, then east 10 meters. South, 20 meters. East, 40 meters. South, 10 meters. West, for 40 meters. Now I'm turning south and traveling for 20 meters. West, 10 meters. 20 meters north. West again for 70 meters. For the final leg of my journey, to bring me back to the start, I'm going to travel north, 10 meters. Once your scale drawing is complete, you could also try to figure out how many times your classroom will fit inside Durham Cathedral.